What you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how you can uninstall the Windows 10 version 2004. Now, this is called rolling back to a previous version after you've installed a Windows 10 update. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video. You can use this method for any version of Windows update that you've got. You need to go down and check which version you've got. Go down to the search box and type Winver and then click on this and it will tell you what version you are running. So if you're watching this video uh, in the future, there may be a different version, but you can still use this method. So you can see here we're using version 2004, which is the very latest version of Windows 10. Now, if you want to roll back, then you can do. There is a short time period where you will be able to try this out. And if you're having issues, you can then roll back. You should see inside your C root directory here a windows.old folder. If you see this, then there's a chance that you will be able to roll back to a previous version of Windows 10. So let's close that off. To roll back, what you're going to need to do is go to the settings pane. So you can either click on the start button and click settings, or you can right click on the start button and click on settings. It's entirely up to you which way you go about doing it. But once you get to this window, you need to go to update and security click on there on the left hand side you should see an area called recovery and you will see go back to a previous version of windows 10 with the get started warning you will be making changes to your current windows installation make sure you create a full backup of all of your data before you continue with this uh, procedure because if something goes wrong you have run the risk of losing all your data gives you an option here to say why are you going back you can give them whatever reason is that why you're going back and you can write a small message down there as well if you're having issues with say for instance programs or some sort of stability problems where it's crashing or whatever it is that's causing you the problem you can then go back by clicking here and telling them a little bit about it next it's going to check for updates if you want to do that sometimes by getting the latest updates can resolve a lot of the problems that you was having with your installation so it's always advisable to check for updates before you roll back next what you need to know so go here and read all this information about what you need to know about rolling back basically by rolling back you are going to have to reinstall some apps and programs you will lose any changes made to the settings after installing the latest build and uh, also make sure you've backed up your files before you continue don't get locked out of your system make sure you know what your password is to log in if you don't you won't be able to log into your system and it will say thanks for trying this build and you can now click the go back to an earlier build this will restart the system and start the rollback process and it's pretty painless it does take a bit of time so be patient i have sped this process up and you will uh, get to this restoring part this does take a bit of time and you'll be stuck on this window for quite some time once that's done you will get to the windows logon screen and you will start to log back into your operating system and of course the version would have rolled back to the previous version which you had uh, before you updated so here we are back at the desktop so let's go ahead and check for the version which it's rolled us back to it should be 1909 uh, from 2004 now if you're using earlier versions or you're using more newer versions than this version later on down in the future you can still use this process to roll back and you can see that's rolled back to version 1909 now we'll tell you that you only get 10 days um, by default to roll back after that the windows.old folder will be removed from your system you can see the windows.old folder has now been removed and you now uh, have back to 1909 you can still update at a later date if you wish but again you'll only have a 10 day window to roll back after that that windows.old folder will be removed from the system automatically by windows so you can extend that and i'll make another video to show you how to do that Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. You can use this process for any version of Windows. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all 
to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.